We all know that particles in the air and water affect our health. The particles are absorbed by the body and can make us sick. These risks are known to us and we are confronted with them every day. What you may not know is that these same risks are present during infusion therapy due to inadvertent contamination. While IV infusions play an important role in improving our health, particles may be inadvertently infused into patients along with the drugs, potentially putting the patient's health at risk. This type of contamination may be called infusion pollution and involves mobile, undissolved particles. Infusion pollution can arise from many sources and critically ill patients, in particular, are more likely to be negatively impacted by this health risk. Infusion pollution may activate inflammatory and immunomodularity processes in the body. In the worst case, studies have suggested that these may affect the microcirculation and potentially multiple organ systems. Particles that we breathe in and particles that we drink or ingest may be prevented from entering the bloodstream through the lungs and intestines. However, particles inadvertently infused with IV solutions enter the bloodstream directly without any barrier. Recognizing this potential health risk, medical societies have put guidelines in place to reduce the risk for patients. Clinical research is important since these guidelines are evidence-based. Science matters. Over the last 10 years, our IV inline filters have been involved in numerous laboratory, animal, and clinical studies. We need to be aware of infusion pollution and protect patients from the potential adverse effects of particles. We can do this by using IV inline filters to proactively reduce the risk of infusion pollution.